Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva took place at Desert Diamond Arena in Glendale, Arizona. In a thrilling fight that has been a long time in the making, former UFC champion Anderson the Spider Silva finally faces off with YouTube sensation Jake Paul in a must-see bout. Tonight's betting odds have the Spider coming in at a plus 200 underdog and Paul comes in at a minus 240 favorite. All right, here's how it went down. In the first round, the fight was slow with both fighters patient and calculated. Silva was very relaxed and didn't throw a lot while Paul was trying to push the pace more. But in round two, it was a different story when Silva turned it up another level and looked to get Paul out of his comfort zone. The veteran Silva was landing some shots and taunting Paul with a lot of veterans gamesmanship. As the fight went on, the action increased and they were both at times in the phone booth throwing. Silva did land his best shot of the night with a nice uppercut, and Jake was landing more combinations and was looking for the big right hand that landed a few times, which the veteran Silva was able to endure. In the eighth round, Silva had the veteran prowess and the sense of urgency coming at Jake, throwing everything at him, but Paul finally landed the big money shot, the overhand right that he's been looking for all night, and sat the spider down on the canvas, but Silva caught back up and continued to push forward, but just wasn't enough. Jake Paul defeats Anderson Silva by decision. Anderson Silva after the fight, and I quote, said, listen, it's tough to come inside here and fight the young kid, Silva said. Jake is better than me today. I'm black samurai, you know. I know I lost. I know I fell in my whole strategy and my opponent to win and I need to respect that. I'm, I'm not the same the other guys fight with Jake, you know. Oh, I, I need revenge, I need rematch. I'm human, I'm superhero, but sometimes the my half human fail, yeah. All right, here's my final thoughts. The million dollar question was, could the young YouTube superstar finally step up a competition and defeat a high level fighter and former UFC champion in Silva? Well, we have our answer. The 25 year old Paul was just too much for the 47 year old Silva. Paul up to this point has chosen his opponents very wisely and has slowly stepped up his competition every fight. Paul has been under fire with constant ridicule of his opponents thus far and has taken some vicious shots from the media saying that he is cherry picking his opponents and that he is not a high level boxer. And even the UFC president Dana White said in an interview, Paul should face a real fighter in Silva believing that he would be humiliated but Paul once again showed us that he is turning into the real deal with his victory tonight. Let's be honest, most of the world believed that Paul was a fluke and that Anderson would prove that. But Paul once again showed the world that hard work and determination pays off with his big victory tonight. Okay, what's next for Paul? You know, Nate Diaz was here acting like a bitch. Uh, everyone wants that fight. He tried to fight people in the hallway. You know, Nate, stop fighting people for free. Let's do it in the ring, okay? I know, I know you're a little slow, buddy, but... Uh, it's okay, we can make that fight happen. And you too, Canelo, you're getting old. You looked weird against Triple G. Um, I, I still want that fight as well. Guys, let me know in the comments what you thought of Paul's fight tonight, his performance, and who you think he should fight next and why. Thanks to all of our loyal fans. We love you guys. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button. This is Jake Hatton with MMA Weekly's The Lowdown Breakdown. See you next time.